Welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking you along on a little bit of an adventure. We are heading out of town and we're going to visit the Country Charm Christmas Cottage. This place is so beautiful. It is so cozy. It has a cafe on site. It's out in the, the countryside, I guess you could say. And I want to take you along to see what stock they've got. It is so beautiful. It is so inspirational. They have all different rooms with all styles for Christmas. And you definitely need to go and visit if you're heading up this way. If you're new here, I'm Carleen, welcome to my home. I live in North Queensland with my family of five. So let's get started on our next adventure. I just wanted to share with you a little bit about this business because the lady that owns it, her name is Andrea. She's the owner operator of this family affair. It is nestled amongst the cane fields in the scenic Pioneer Valley and on the day that we went in it was so packed because I think everybody just knows how beautiful it is here and they love being here but on the day that we were there it's a true family affair her daughter was helping her her mum was making the coffee and you know serving the cakes and things like that so it truly is a unique and special place to visit unlike any other now from this week on right up until Christmas I'm planning to release content twice a week, a video on a Thursday and a video on a Sunday because I have so much fun Christmas content that I want to share with you guys. So please hit subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Everything will be centered around being on a budget, of course, so it's going to be budget friendly, especially for those families who are trying to stretch their dollar and make their money go further. On this day, I was lucky to have some family visiting from out of town. So I got to bring them along and give them a taste of what this store has to offer. And it was also nice to have some help with the kids because in the beginning it was very much, we look with our eyes, not with our hands. And then by the end, Zach and I just had our hands over everything. <laughs> you see lots of finger pointing because everybody was just in awe of what was in front of them. I was hoping to chat to you all while you're watching this video so feel free to chat as you go in the comments below and I will reply so you have to tell me do you get a new theme every year for Christmas do you change it up or do you have the traditional or the same theme you have for the last 10 years comment below and let me know there is so much to take in when visiting this store. Andrea does such a beautiful job of decorating everything. It all feels very put together and you know thoughtful and you can really tell that she loves doing this. Here I found some really unique sort of antique inspired Christmas ornaments, things that you don't see in like your normal like major stores or home homeware stores that you see everywhere else. I love living in a regional town, but what comes with that is that you don't always get the variety. Whereas this store has so much variety, I would do one lap looking at Christmas picks and then I'd think, oh, what about a table centerpiece, you know? And then I'd do another lap and then I would be inspired by something else. Then I'd do another lap looking for those sorts of things. So it is so easy to spend all morning here. Found this section I think the most inspiring because I hadn't considered decorating with uh, deep sort of um, eggplant colors or navy and orange and that sort of goldy color together and the way that she styled it it looks really like special and like bougie and <laughs> I hadn't considered that before even with the black so that made me think about the projects I've got coming up and what colors I could use I did spot this beautiful little Christmas fairy here uh, hiding amongst the poinsettias and after I spotted her I started to notice other ones in the other rooms so you'll keep your eye, your eye out for those they're gorgeous
just when you think that you're finished, you've checked all of the rooms inside, they have this beautiful section outside. And some of this is mixed in with like everyday home decor as well, and outdoor garden ornaments and real plants. And they just have so much unique items that it definitely is worth a visit. They uh, even had another, another little section that we got lost in where I thought, oh, that's it. No, turn left, there's a whole other section uh, of like clearance and markdown items. And they've got some really huge, like this huge Santa or I don't know, ornament decoration. I don't even know what you would call it. It was massive. And in between those two areas is this sweet sugar and spice coffee van. Even out here was styled beautifully. The little coffee cart was just so sweet. It's like she just thought of everything and made every single nook and cranny feel special. They had some Christmas treats on the menu today. Even the little coffee cart just looks so cute. Now it was warm this day, so we were happy to have a nice little seating area to enjoy. The fan was pumping. We ordered a little caramel tart and a Ferrero Rocher mud cake. And then uh, thinking that, oh, that would be enough and the kids will share. The baby was starving, so he got a peach blossom. Zach got a Christmas tree frappe and I got the gingerbread man frappe. That was really nice and cold and refreshing because it was quite warm this day. And yeah, baby's up for round two. <laughs> ate his mud cake on to the next thing. He was starving because we had been there for a while at this point. And this little winter wonderland section, this was really packed like full in here. And they had the sweetest little um, section, I think for like, you know, the little kids and the toddlers as well. So they had little baby's first Christmas and like little dainty little things like that here too. Aren't these gorgeous? It's like a little, a little matching set and this little bride fairy with her little I think she's meant to be a bride with her little white dress just looks so pretty very delicate Zachary's pointing up here to the ceiling because everywhere you look there is just something to take in even when you think you've seen everything and you turn around at a different angle and you see something else sort of hiding in amongst everything else I'm seeing these ceramic little houses and villages everywhere and I would love to have a set above my kitchen window. If you missed my last video, uh, my husband helped me install a little um, a cottage core style uh, shelf above my kitchen window and I thought that would look so pretty up there. This was the bougie set of the uh, nativity set with the three wise men, very sparkly in this, in this area. Some of these items that I found I felt were quite good value for money, like a huge lantern like that. I've seen like once half that size, almost twice the price. So some of the items here were definitely on the affordable side. wanted to try drying out some oranges and decorating with something natural like that this year I loved this little rustic section I think this might have even been my favorite and I saw that they had these little garlands and these orange picks and I almost bought some and I thought I wanted to try making them myself but if you have in the past and you live in a hot humid climate like me can you tell me do they rehydrate <laughs> in the humidity because I mean cyclone season is coming and there is moisture in the air so I would just hate for them to get moldy and then attract fruit flies and other creepy crawlies. Is that just me being silly or does that does that really happen? <laughs> Let me know before I go to the effort for drying them. Now down the back of the store is this beautiful sweet section of realistic looking treats that look like they're sprinkled with sugar and
that nutcracker is huge. Look at how big he is. It's even standing. Yeah, and he's like standing on the like on the proper floor. That's taller than I am. Like even stand next to it. Yeah, look. Yeah, <laughs> he's like all over. <laughs> I will link her store below so if you see something that you love you know reach out and support a little family-owned business a little local store or local if you live near me anyway they had so much to offer here you definitely must visit if you're close by They even had some real gourmet treats in there so you could put together a Christmas gift or a Christmas hamper. They even had, I couldn't film at the register because there was a, <laughs> there was a bit of a lineup and it was pretty packed in there and they did have some like reed diffusers and I think there were soy candles, candles of some sort that had all festive fragrances as well. So they definitely have some beautiful things in there too that you can do for gift items. Hiding in amongst the Christmas decor is also some everyday like decor that isn't Christmas related that you can definitely add to your home as well. Now that's everything for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed visiting a small family owned business. I will also provide for you below a link of other videos that I think you might like. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.